In this video, let's talk about your acne and really get to the bottom of what's causing it and how you can deal with it. But first things first. Before we get too far along the road here, there are a few things we need to go over as a background to the whole subject of getting rid of acne. It's important to remember that when we're talking about acne, we're talking about your acne and not some theoretical or generic acne. The reason this is important is because there's a bunch of stuff that goes into producing acne and there are things that you can do to improve your skin condition as well as lower the odds of acne reappearing. But the most effective acne treatment programs are going to deal with the actual causes of your acne, not just what's on the surface. So let's be clear from the outset here, there is hope. Now I know you may have run around in circles trying to get to the bottom of your acne and you may be feeling a little, well, defeated on the whole thing. I know there are lots of places offering lots of information, so after seeing this little video, my hope is that you can have some hope too. The majority of acne treatment choices that are around today fall into two rough categories. Topical solutions, stuff you either do to your skin or put on your skin, and medication solutions. Under medication we have various medicines, antibiotics and hormone therapy, all of which can include topical creams, ointments and things like that. The whole idea behind all of these products is that acne is a skin problem, so if we treat the skin in some way, then the problem will go away, right? Well, nice if it were true, but it just doesn't seem to work out that way. The two main concepts behind most medication and topical treatments, such as scrubs, lotions and the rest, are that acne is caused by too much oil, causing the pores to become blocked with that oil in combination with dead skin or too much bacteria resulting in infection setting in, or it could be a combination of both these things. The idea is that by constantly washing off the oil to try to keep the pores open and attacking the bacteria to prevent infection, the acne will clear up. In fact, many mild cases of acne may notice an improvement in the condition from this, but not all, and the only guaranteed improvement will be the increase in sales for the companies making the products or for people providing services to address acne. These arguments are flawed to say the least, because they're squarely focused on the end results of acne, what you can see on your skin. They don't look at the cause of acne which remains hidden. This leaves the person suffering from acne drowning in a sea of failed remedies, treatments, pills, potions and God knows what else. The real questions that need to be answered are these. Why is there too much oil and why is this bacteria affecting you and not everyone else? You see how it doesn't make sense. We all have oil glands on our skin, but we don't all have acne. We all have naturally occurring bacteria on our skin, but again, we don't all get acne. There must be some underlying cause of acne that makes your oil glands overproduce oil to the point where they get blocked and are prone to infection. There must be an underlying cause of why your body's ability to resist normally occurring bacteria becomes lowered to the point of getting acne, right? Now here's where the whole puzzle comes together, because the answer to this is everywhere. Let's apply a little straight logic to the situation and work it out. Doctors, drug companies and cosmetics manufacturers all know this, but they continue to ignore it. I'll leave it to you to work out why. All you have to do is look at who gets acne the most, which people are the most prone to acne, and find the common factor to them all. OK, newborn babies often get acne. Some people may be surprised at this, but it is quite common. Teenagers get acne, no surprises there. Pregnant women as well as premenstrual women get acne. There's one thing that all these groups have in common. They are all, at that time in their lives, subject to hormone imbalances or disturbances. Now I'm sorry, but anyone could work that out. All of those groups suffer from imbalances in their hormones resulting in acne. So the key to solving your acne is to simply find out what is causing the hormone imbalance and handle that and we're done, right? Well, actually that's wrong. Sorry to get your hopes up there, but although getting this far has been pretty easy, the next part gets a little tricky. Now, it's not impossible, but it's tricky. You see, there can be many reasons your hormones have gone crazy and decided to, to give you a nice case of acne. It can be caused by your overall diet, or individual diet choices, or even one particular type of thing that you're intolerant of. It can be stress, or some emotional problem that may be obvious to you now, or 
that you've been living with for so long, you don't see it for what it really is. It could be a result of a vitamin or mineral deficiency. Well, to make a long story short, it could be one of these things or a combination of those things. In other words, a whole bunch of stuff. So what's the answer? Well, the truth is, there is no magic bullet and there is no one-size-fits-all solution. The answer to your acne is the answer that fits you and you alone. And it's for that reason that you really should get yourself onto an effective acne treatment program that addresses you and your acne as an individual rather than as some general condition. A program that guides you through all the possible causes until you can zero in on the right one and deal with it. Just go to this website and check out some of the best programs for yourself and good luck in getting rid of your acne.